Hey guys, John here with Bill and Sifu Guys. Really excited to announce our new video series that we're starting here today. This series, we don't have a name for it yet, so we definitely want your input. Once you guys see it, we'd love to see what you think the name should be. Comment below and uh, help us come out, come up with a name for the series. So what this is all about is we're really, we really wanted to start making a series to help educate people about seafood. Talk about seafood, tell people you know where the seafood comes from, show recipes, talk to other people we can bring on the show that also have knowledge in the seafood industry. So that's what we're gonna be doing and we always want your input, we wanna know what you guys think um, and what might be beneficial to you guys because that's what we're here for. But today is gonna be a really cool one. We're gonna be talking all about sockeye salmon. That's where a lot of my background lays up in Alaska from commercial fishing to running seafood processing plants where our focus was um, just running sockeye salmon. All right, everybody, we're in the Billing Seafood Guys kitchen. And like I was saying, today's all about sockeye salmon. All of our sockeye salmon is harvested in Bristol Bay, Alaska. It's all wild caught. Um, everything's harvested by small boat fishermen in Bristol Bay. The Bristol Bay fishery is the world's largest sockeye fishery. And I wanna show you guys um, this lettering right here that you'll see on every single package that you get from us. What this is, is a lock code. So it's the, the point of a lock code, it's all about traceability so that the companies can know exactly what boat this or tender this stuff came from. All for traceability and uh, it's just a great thing to know. So what this tells you right here, the EG stands for Igigik. This is the district and plant, the seafood plant, where this salmon came from. It was produced in 2018 and it was produced on June 25th. These letters right here, this is what the plant uses to track the boat that it came from. All right, so now we're jumping into the recipe. Um, during the day, you have it in the fridge so that when you get home, it's thawed out. You take it out of its vacuum package. Really simple, it's just throwing it in your, your typical pan, a little aluminum foil, and then here we go. So I always use avocado or olive oil. And what this is really gonna help you do is, especially with sockeye salmon, I think one of the biggest problems that most people have is that they dry the salmon out. So what this oil will do is it just, it gives you a little bit more room to play with to keep that moisture in. And then we'll talk more here in a little bit about temperatures and cooking time. So I never get too stingy with the oil. And then I always rub it in. Don't miss the tail. And I can't wait to tell you guys a little bit uh, about our secret with the belly, the best part of the salmon. Okay, so then next I just get salt. I love the Himalayan pink salt. I always have my big uh, batch of it from Costco. And I just start at the tail and just start working my way up. It cooks in nicely. This might look like a lot of salt, but I've never had it to where it tastes really salty. Next, I just add a little bit of pepper. Okay, and you guys can kind of see how everything's on there. And then my finishing touch is I always do three globs of butter to put on there. And again, this is another thing that's gonna help with uh, keeping that fish from drying out, just giving you a little bit more room. But again, this is, uh, what, maybe that was 30 seconds to a minute. But again, this is just a very simple recipe. Um, it's, it's good. I mean, it's just an easy one for the family and home. It's definitely realistic for the busy lifestyle. And now we're going into the oven. So I always use 375 degrees and I do 20 minutes cook time. All right, so we just hit 20 minutes and 375 degrees. So we're gonna pull this baby out. There we go. Okay, so gonna cut into it really quick. And we're looking good, guys. So there it is. 
And then my next little tricks here, what I love to do is all that butter. I just love to fold this up and just get it all over that filet. So for those of you that are gonna be cooking this salmon at home, I'm gonna show you the best part of the salmon. So right here, this is the belly. This, is, this part of the fish has the highest fat content. Omega-3s, it's just oily and it tastes incredible. So if you cook this salmon, make sure you come in here and you cherry pick this out. There we go. Ooh, it's really hot, but I'm going for it. 